Tech Campus is a big part of the Commonwealth's efforts to bring tens of thousands of new high tech jobs to the region. And it fits in with Amazon's sprawling HQ2 and all the other companies that are coming to the area. Bruce Lashan is live at Potomac Yards with the very latest. Hey, Bruce. Hey, Leslie, you know, if you live or you work in this area, you're probably going to want to pack your earplugs and your patience for the next few years. Between Virginia Tech breaking ground right here on this new graduate school uh, for computer science and engineering, that, then the Potomac Yards Metro Station, brand new Potomac Yards Metro Station here, and then Amazon's HQ2 back over here, National Landing, it is really taking off. In Pentagon City, the rumble of trucks and clang of hammers almost makes it hard to talk on the street. Amazon has already assigned 3,000 employees to work here at HQ2 and plans to hire more than 20,000 more people over the next decade. Your business has exploded during the pandemic and now you just really need a lot of workers. We have seen uh, some phenomenal growth. Amazon announced Tuesday ahead of career day on Thursday that it is hiring 125,000 workers in cities and towns across America. Hundreds of those jobs are in our region. The operations VP is pushing back on critics argument that the career ladder at the internet behemoth is broken. They can start in our you know, fulfillment centers and end up in HQ2, they can get STEM educations, which we know we need. Um, and so it's just, a, it's a really exciting time. Virginia Tech is hoping to train some of those future architects of cutting edge digital technology at its new innovation campus. How fired up are you about this new campus? I'm thrilled, you know, the thing is real now. The 3000 square foot academic building one will be sculpted like a gem to maximize solar power and designed to educate masters and doctoral students to help the U.S. maintain an edge in advanced technology. And your plan is to make that educated workforce even bigger. Believe it or not, even as large as it is to start with, it's still less than the needs. The director says that this new Virginia Tech campus will focus right on from the start on having a di diverse group of students and future tech leaders. You know that black and brown people are historically underrepresenting represented in computer sciences and education, uh, uh, engineering and other kind of high tech fields. The hope is that they will have a place right here, right from the start in this really exploding field. Leslie, back to you. We can only hope that's the case and keep those earbuds close by just in case.